Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and today I'm going to continue in the Pro Tools versus Logic series, and we're going to compare side by side Logic Pro's Flex Time and Pro Tools Elastic Audio. So both these are time compression algorithms within the Pro Tools and Logic systems. They help um, with timing by stretching out audio, you can either compress it or expand it. And they both pretty much do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of compare them both side by side. So if I come over to this little bar, this is how you enable Elastic Audio in Pro Tools. And you can see here I have polyphonic, rhythmic, monophonic, very speed, and X form. Polyphonic is for instruments that have more than one note, say guitar, piano, um, anything that's not just a single note like a bass or a vocal, that would be monophonic. Rhythmic is for rhythmic instruments, so very transient, heavy instruments. Very speed will be able to stretch the audio and make it either faster or slower. And you can do that by either not affecting the pitch, and there's a way to do it to affect the pitch, kind of like old tape, where if you speed it up, it changes the pitch with it as well. X form is a, a higher quality algorithm for changing the speed for your audio, and it's in rendering only, so you can only render it. You can't do it in real time like you can with these. Now I'm gonna go over to Logic, and we're gonna take a look at flex time. So you click on this little thing up here, and that'll put you into flex time. It'll open up this view on the track where you can see these little lines. And again, we have polyphonic, we have monophonic, we have rhythmic, just like we did in Pro Tools. But then we have slicing, which is for not affecting pitch, but it's actually where they'll slice at the trigger points. That would be a different program in Pro Tools called Beat Detective. And then we have speed and tempophone. So speed and tempophone are more audio effects. Tempophone will actually kind of make your audio grainy and super warped and cool sounding while speed, it's like it sounds like it either speeds it up or slows it down. You can do that to a section. So that's pretty cool. You don't have those options uh, directly in the Elastic Audio and Pro Tools. So these are kind of unique to Logic, but they're really just creative tools. They're super fun. All right. Now I'm gonna go back to Pro Tools and we're gonna just take a look at the way that it looks in here. So if I wanted it to do rhythmic because this is a kick drum, I would go up to waveform, you can go to analyze. And again, here we go. We're gonna have our trigger points just like we have here in Logic. And then if I wanted to make some changes, I could hit warped and then click on here and it'll, it'll add trigger points to my track and then I can move stuff around. Just like over here, create my point, move stuff around. And now it's important to note, this isn't gonna be a tutorial on how to use these. I just kinda wanna show you side by side um, what it looks like in both. But just real quick, if you have two trigger points and in the middle one, you will not move the stuff around that's on either side of these trigger points. If I have just one trigger point, it actually moves everything. Same is true in Pro Tools, hold Shift, you create three trigger points, and then you just move what's in between it. Single, I move everything. Cool. So that is going to be the case in everything. Now, you may have noticed that I have very speed over here, but you didn't see very speed in Logic. You find the very speed option in Logic in a different area. All right, so if you go up here, you're gonna need to change this to custom click up here to open up this menu bar, customize control bar, and we're gonna click on very speed over here. And then we'll open this, and then now we're in very speed. So that's how you get to very speed in Logic, and now I can speed up my session. And if you listen to it now, it'll sound crazy fast. or I can go very slow. Now the way you do that in Pro Tools is you come over here, you would want to option click down here, you have samples and ticks. So samples is basically your audio would um, react to sample changes, so like 48K and ticks will be um, time-based. So when I change the time, it will affect the audio. So we want everything to go to time we're gonna go in here to very speed, control click, so all of them become very speed. 
And then now if I change my tempo, we get the same, same deal. All right, and then you can also go up here into vary speed and do pitch and speed. So this would actually change, this would actually change the pitch along with it. And you could do the same thing in Pro Tools now if you were to adjust the length, or either compress the length or expand the length using the time compress trim tool. So if I, if I go ahead and do this, you stretch it with time. So that changes the pitch as well. So that's how you do it in Pro Tools. So Logic and Pro Tools have the similar thing. And the last thing I wanna get into is um, flex pitch or elastic pitch. And that's actually changing the pitch of say like your vocals or any kind of melodic instrument. So I'm gonna come over here and, all right, so I'm here and we're gonna take a look at this vocal part. If you go up here to flex pitch, you'll see that it opens up this window here and you have a little piano roll where you can then mess with the pitch of stuff. Nice boy, just you wait for the gray. And I'm <laughs> and I'm still using Vera speed. So I gotta make sure that I turn that off. And then we'll be back to normal. Wait for the gray. And then you can just kinda you can just mess around with that. You can tune stuff. I honestly do not use this. I use Melodyne for this. I feel like uh, Melodyne's um, algorithm is way better than Logic's algorithm. Um, I mean, Melodyne, the Melodyne Studio is like three times the price of Logic. So, I mean, and it's basically a tuning program. So I use Melodyne. I don't use this. I just want to show you that that feature is there. And then in Pro Tools, it's called Elastic Pitch. So the way that you would do it here is you would go ahead and... Just zoom in, highlight your clip, and actually make a new clip out of it. Come over here. You need to choose polyphonic. Um, elastic pitch will not work in monophonic, just the way it is. And then we're going to go ahead and go to elastic property. And then if you want, you can just do the same thing right here where you're changing the pitch. Um, I'm not going to get into sense and all of that. You just got to know this is where you change it. It's the same thing as if I was in um, Logic's. Um, flex pitch where you're seeing that little bar you're moving you're just doing the same thing but it's visual this isn't visual but this is the same thing and so here when i walk the street all i see all cars whizzing by me okay that's what it sounds like that and if i were to drop it down a lot you'd hear when i walk the street all i see all cars easy all right so that's pretty much the uh side by side comparison as you can see you can pretty much do the same things in both it's all a matter of workflow all right well thank you for tuning in thank you for making it this far if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below if you just want to say hello i'd love to say hi as well if you got anything out of this please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to all my other subscribers i appreciate your continued support i am here to help you sing your story Mix your mission and master your message at johnson.audio. I am Brad. I will see you on the next video. Bye.